Well, hey everyone, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees. Welcome to Southeast Louisiana. Remember folks, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It helps that video get out to those people looking to watch bee videos. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that. Hit that notification bell, and hey, you'll know every time I upload a video. Got another yard with two hives, and it's actually going to end up having a lot of hives eventually. Um, but it's going to kind of be an overflow slash swarm catch slash whatever kind of yard. And i got to move two more hives in there tonight. But right now, I've got two hives over there that I moved. And both of those colonies look a little... Uh, one of them wasn't really, really super strong, and the other one was growing really good, but had just gotten it deep. I expect it to be pretty full um, since I've moved it. So I've got equipment with me, should I have to split it or whatever I may do. We may just look in them and they're good to go and need another week. Uh, we've got privet getting ready to come out. Plenty of dewberry, plenty of other stuff. All the pears are done now. But uh, we've got clover everywhere and uh, it, it could be building faster than I thought. What we're going to do is zip down here really fast and uh, take a look at these two colonies because I have not seen them in two weeks. Make sure we're not letting them outgrow us. If we are, we're going to remedy it. If not, we're going to come on back to the house and make notes on what we need to do with them in the near future. First flow is not far from us if it comes in. But that's a big if because sometimes that privet is not always dependable. Anyhow, let's go down here and take a look and uh, see what we can find. All right, so here we are at our new yard. We set this yard up a couple weeks back. This is a request for honeybees. And I have not been out here. So, not a lot of activity. Well, I'm, I'm telling you that there's activity, but it's not like huge amounts of bees. So, these were smaller hives, weaker hives, but this is a perfect opportunity for them to grow up. So, let's take a look and see where we're at. So, this is our yard. We got room for plenty. We're going to be bringing two more out tonight. So, you see, they're not really a major ton of them, but let's see what they're doing. Like I said, one of these was kind of weak, and the other one was. Wow, that box needs to be replaced big time. There's a bad spot in that wood. Anyway, let's take a look. Uh, one of them was a single going into a double. So, let's see where we're at with these. these. Let me give a good amount of smoke here. got a lot of them. Full of nectar on bee bread. I didn't look to see which one this one was. Okay, so they're putting a good honey dome in. Putting it up here too. So they're moving their nest underneath the honey dome. Like uh, we should be into it right here. Now I got a little drone comb. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. What you think? She's a bit spotty. Got a little bit of shotgun to her, but we'll see. We'll let her see what she does. Oh yeah, that's not good. Before I came out, I didn't happen to look and see who was who. Mm -hmm. So. might requeen this one. Might be requeening. Alright, we got swarm cells going in. Which I just opened that one up, but... There's a mite on a drone larvae. Y'all see it? When people talk about looking for mites, that's what they're looking at. So we tore that cell up. It was definitely full. 
These cups have nothing in them. Yeah, those are all empty. Let's look some more. All right, this was a new frame. It's full of eggs. Full of eggs. But how many will stay without being spotty? That's the question. It's all single eggs. That's what we want. It's perfectly normal. But her brood pattern is terrible. Just terrible. So those eggs, some of them are faulty being pulled out. I'm gonna have to think about requeening this one. All right, we're gonna move this box off. See, they could use a queen, a new queen anyways. There are quite a few bees in here. So let's look at the bottom real quick, guys. You know how I like to do this. What are, we, what are we looking at on the bottom? I mean, it's a decent cluster. It could stand to be bigger, but just drone comb. I see an old cup. Some of this drone come off. This isn't a surefire way to find cups. Sometimes they're up in there, but normally if there's a bunch, you'll, you'll see one or two on there. That's what I found. All right. It sounds worse than it is because they're all over your microphone. Accentuated with the microphone. See, they're sporadically backfilling with nectar. I'm, gonna, I'm actually looking there. Old, old cell. There's our queen. Last year's queen. So I'm gonna put her back together. I'm putting this on and this has had brood in it before is so that they have a spot to put some nectar they're putting a fine fine dome of nectar over top of that nest that's about the only thing they're doing fine their population is okay and it's not going to explode so we don't have a huge workforce but any nectar they can put up here would be much appreciated um, so we keep the nest a little bit clear I can see in the bottom I'm going to have to pull some extra frames and put some drawing in there. Uh, but I'm not going to waste that on her just yet. So we're going to do something with her. Alright, let's see what's next. Huh. Now this one here is growing. When I pulled up to this location, there's a lot. Oh yeah. There's a lot of stuff blooming around here. There you go. See one full cell and a bunch of cups, just like the other one. But they just don't look that packed in there, but who knows? I'm gonna look inside them. So every one of those cups is bone dry, guys. 
I want to see what the nectar situation looks like because this hive is uh, it's packed in here, but it's not that packed. There's a frame of honey. Let's get that off the side. Let's see what we got in here. That's all nectar. Remember, I'm not feeding my bees. To have all this nectar, they're bringing it in. That's all nectar with a spot of drone brood in the middle. Now, here's why they might be wanting to think about swarming. They got a lot of brood, looks like. That's pollen and brood mixed together, so that's not necessarily spotty. But see, there's not a lot of bees in here. So for them to be, that's not bad. But that's a good dome. See that good dome of, um, that's a good dome of nectar over the top. That's what I'm looking for. But not here. This is. See, there's not a ton of bees in here. But they are back filling with nectar. So what we're going to do is give them a shot at uh, filling up a super. Give them somewhere to put it and see if they take that. And she's probably going to move up because there's no dome. And the other one could too, but. So this queen here ain't so dandy either. But I see eggs. See, they're starting to backfill with nectar. Now sometimes that's them using that nectar to raise the brew too, because they'll clean that out. But we need to give them a place to put nectar. brood in it at the bottom it's all mixed and matched though I don't know if you can see but that's brood in there same on this side plenty of eggs This guy, this is just, this is bad on these these queens. Um, and again, these were at, at the pond. I didn't notice them. There's an old cup. There's nothing in it. They were some of the ones that weren't so good. They were old queen splits from last year. But they're definitely, um, they're not superstars at all. Cup is dry when I open it, completely dry, no egg or nothing. She's putting in a lot of eggs, but just because they put in a lot of eggs don't mean it's a great queen because the workers will go back and snatch out the bad eggs, meaning she's falling. What they are doing is bringing the nectar and packing it in. Same here. Some larvae, some baby egg. Yeah, there's some real young, young larvae in here. Come on, get out of there. So again, what we're seeing here is I got some old comb that's had brood in it before. Well, that one hadn't, but it will soon. These are nine frame boxes. Had brood in it. It's all drawn. And what I'm doing is just giving them a place to put nectar. Because that is the only thing they are doing is bringing in nectar. I'll give the queen a place to uh, keep her a place to lay. I don't think they're swarming. They had that one cell. Both of them had like one little cell in them. Let's see what happens with this thing. Those hives don't look good as far as the queens. Uh, the one on the left looks a little better. She actually had a good pattern in the top. So that makes me wonder if it could be the comb. 
Um, sometimes I think the comb is bad. I didn't. A lot of times it'll be pollen, and she'll go around the pollen. That'll be it. But that wasn't the case. I don't know what was. I'm gonna leave her alone. The one, the first one we did, it's it's gonna need to be requeened. There's no doubt about it. That's not a good queen. So we won't see an explosion. So it makes me wonder why they had one. Each one had one single cell halfway finished with royal jelly. I don't know what that was all about. I don't think they were swarming. All the other cups were bone dry. Um, I don't know. That there just weren't that many bees in there. I mean, there were plenty of bees, but there weren't like an explosive amount of bees. They weren't overflowing like, oh my gosh, I need to split them, kind of like get your attention, kind of bees. So, um, so what I did was they are bringing in nectar. So I did notice that uh, they're putting in a good honey dome on one, and on the other one they don't have a great honey dome, but. I went ahead and put supers on both of them to give them somewhere just to put some nectar. Um, the queen will probably jump up in the other one up there, and that's fine. I'm not going to be getting out here all the time. I will have to come out next week after I put these singles out here to check if they need doubles because there's a ton of blooming around here, and his privet is not far behind mine, um, or ahead of mine, rather. But one thing about just giving them extra space, I learned this, and Shawi was telling me this, and, and I've read it kind of before on Michael Bush's pages, two kinds of swarms one being a reproductive and one being an overcrowding swarm sometimes if they are they've got it in their mind that they're going to go ahead and reproduce if you hadn't caught them in time and and did a artificial split i mean artificial swarm with a split on them and now you've got a, a colony of bees that has decided it's time to reproduce because that's what they do that's how they propagate is they split uh they swarm if they've already made up their mind that that's what they're doing is a reproductive swarm, they're going. Now, what they're going to do with that reproductive swarm is they are going to turn it into basically an overcrowding swarm. She's going to load up with brood, load everything up they can, bring in a bunch of nectar, eat as much nectar, pack it in tight because they know that, and then she's going to make her cells or load her cells up because they know the, the colony left behind is going to need everything they can to get that queen going. So it's kind of the end result of a reproductive swarm tends to be a overcrowding but it's not it, they're going to go so what shall we was saying was sometimes you know just putting just putting a super on or giving them space when they've already decided that they're making cups and they're leaving uh it, it doesn't matter they're going anyway um and that's those times when you split a hive you thought you split a swarm and you were successful and they leave anyway i think that's what they are now those reproductives happen in the early spring and then what we get, we get in the tallow flow, we get those overcrowding swarms. And that's where you start getting um, honey-bound hives. And when that happens, then then uh, those are overcrowding swarms. And they get hot and it's summertime. So, so just because I added those, I saw those cups. I'm not sure. They were all bone dry, um, except for the two cells that were half finished in each hive. But who knows? Let's just give them a place to lay nectar. There's been brood in those supers before. I'm not sweating it. They made it through winter without any moth damage. So we're going to let them maybe put some nectar up there, and that'll be the beginning of the privet if they stay. Guys, I appreciate everybody coming along. hope you enjoyed it. I know it's the same old, same old, but that's what we're doing. Showed you my new yard that we're in. Going to bring two more singles out here today to get them out of my yard. So we're going to bring those two out here tonight, later after dark, and uh, we'll have four hives out here. I'm going to go scope out across the road. He's got a young blueberry patch. He's got blueberries over here, and I can put as many as I want out there. Uh, so we're going to go scope out a spot to maybe put some more hives and make this my overflow yard. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed and you're watching, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. You'll know when I'm uploading videos. And don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, anybody that just enjoys watching bees. You guys have a wonderful evening. May the Lord God bless you and keep you in these trying times. See you all later.